Welcome back. It's time for the big event. Donna Wyhoffen is here now with some great ideas for your 4th of July holiday cookout. Thanks for inviting us today. Yeah, Donna, You're thank welcome. you so much. Yeah. Uh, this looks like something you prepared, That's right. Mark. I just, just whipped just this like up. This. I brought this. Donna, where's yours? <laughs> what do we have here? Actually, it's easy. Yes. Uh, actually, I mean, fairly easy. Uh, tomatoes and bruschetta. I love it. And so I'm going to do it on the grill. And what we're going to do is take a tomato and put a little seasoning on it, salt and pepper, and then top it with fresh mozzarella cheese mm. like that. And it's as simple as that. I put it on a grill pan. You could just put it just generally just right on the grill, too. So I'm going to take it, and I'm going to take it and put it in the grill. How long is that going Well, for? just until it's melted. So like indirect it depends. or direct? It, or? It, it probably indirect until it's nice and hot on the grill. Listen, and then the, 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 the cheese will melt. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and you have to know how to turn on the buttons, and yes. then it works. <laughs> That's another story. And then this story. is what it looks like. Yes. You put a little pesto on the yes. top? Yes, uh-huh. And then you make a little pesto, and you can make this yourself, or you can just buy it too, you know. So this is pretty hard to eat, so you don't want to pick this up right now. Okay. Or you could but put other, it on some crusty so bread. Put it on a piece of crusty bread, but you can see that it's on the grill. The, the cheese is melted so nicely, and it's just a special way to serve it when you're yeah. when you're doing a outdoor cooking. That is great. So um, main course. Now for the entree. Yeah. Yes, chicken. I'm going to do chicken, and I did chicken on the grill, and I'm going to take some off the grill here and put it on a plate. Do you prepare them any special way? Or yes, I, I actually did put it in a marinade, and I put the marinade with um, a little bit of soy sauce and corn syrup, a little bit of sweetener, mm -hmm. take it over here. But the special part of this, because it's 4th of July, is the, this sauce. And I got this idea from a luncheon I went to last week. The blueberries are in here, and part of the blueberries are crushed, so it makes it a little bit saucy. And then it's red peppers, and you could put a jalapeno pepper in there if you'd like what it. What a strange combination. It's red, yes. white, and blue salsa. It, it is. But and blueberries you can, and, and red peppers. peppers. Mm -hmm. And then also you can put either cilantro or parsley. And since lots of people don't like cilantro, I did parsley. So if you're going to err on the side of you know your guests, some people just don't like cilantro. <laughs> but you can put whatever you, you like yeah, in there. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and that couldn't be healthier either. Isn't it nice? And you can taste well, it I'm right there. Taste it right here. Right yeah, there. I, I will too. And then tell us about your side salad that you made. Well, that's a bonus. We are going to do that's a That's a side bonus recipe. <laughs> that's a bonus recipe. This is an orzo salad. And orzo is a pasta. And in the pasta, I put asparagus and peppers and baby corn, colorful things, and a special dressing. If you tune in the 4th of July, you get the yeah, recipe. Yeah, we have a special <laughs> edition on the 4th of July show. This is wonderful. It's, yeah. And it's just so beautiful. Yes. All it, the colors yeah, are it so is. healthy. So it's, you know, you can do your brats too. Uh, we had right. a big family gathering yesterday, and I had brats and hot dogs and the chicken and this. So you can have a nice selection. Healthy and, alternative. Yes, and everybody can have what they want. It's so good. That oh. is so good. It's so, it, <laughs> now, it's very tender. That's How did you get the chicken so tender? like that. I, That's always I, my trick that I pretty, can't. I kind of have a high heat and not too long. Okay. You know, so just cook it through and then off off the grill. And and the, the sauce on there, the, the marinade is. Yeah, I think the marinade helps a lot. But you know, it you don't really have to. I think, you know, sometimes you think the marinades are going to go into the meat. They really don't. You know, they're kind of surfacey. So I think with the, the seasoning on the top is even the most important thing. Well, so. this is the holiday is all about friends and food good times and, and good food. And, and it is so sweet of you and Ray to have and, us over to and do this again. We haven't forgotten dessert. No. <laughs> Donna dessert. and I usually have dessert first. <laughs> That's gonna come, we're going to have that coming up at the end of the show. Desserts last. All right, Donna. Desserts. Thanks so much. All right. Thanks, Donna. We'll see you in a little bit. But now let's go back to Mark and Susan in Donna's backyard. You guys are having too much fun out there. <laughs> Yeah, we are, Michelle. You should and you should taste some of this. It We're going to pack you a doggy bag <laughs> to send back to the newsroom. <laughs> Thanks, Susan, Michelle. As Susan always says, eat dessert first. Eat yeah. dessert first. I learned that from this one. Oh, she yes, and I. I like that too. I'm not sure there's going to be anything left. We've got camera people, all kinds of people to feed here. So, <laughs> and it's a red, white, and blue bonanza yes. today. Yes, and you know, lots of people have that red, white, and blue cake, but I wanted to, do, you know, with frosting and blueberries. But mm. this is a cute idea. I'm using um, red velvet cake mix, and you know, it's, do you know what that's made from? No. Red food coloring and chocolate cake. <laughs> so it's How just, exotic. Yeah, yeah, but it's really red, and I don't usually use it except for Fourth of July. So what I did, but you actually don't follow the directions on the box. You follow the directions on the recipe on channel3000.com. Okay. Because you put less water in, and it's a nice firm batter. 
So you can see it's, it's really firm. And when you take a little spoonful like this and you put it in a mini muffin tin like this. Mm -hmm. It's like a brownie so consistency It almost. is. It's very thick and, and more like a brownie. So it's a cookie, you know, so okay. it's going to turn out to be a cookie. Don't expect it to be a cake when you bite into it. Okay. So then you bake that up. And then you bake it in the oven. And so these are baked. It takes about 10 minutes. And when it comes out of the oven, you take your back of your little spoon and you go like this. Oh, how clever. And you <laughs> smash it in when it's still soft. So these have been smashed in when they're soft. And then we're putting in some and Greek then, yogurt. And, yeah, and I want it, this isn't just ordinary frosting. It's, you know, Greek yogurt is the in thing now. And so you're going to put in some Greek yogurt and I, to make it a little bit thicker, I added a little bit and of cream cheese. And top it with a blueberry. And top it with a blueberry. And you have a red, white, and blue. <laughs> All the recipes <laughs> online, channel3000.com. Happy 4th of July, Donna. Thanks Donna, for thank everything. You. Thank you. We appreciate okay. it so much. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back here tomorrow.